So welcome to episode four of What Sarah Said, a podcast where I, Sarah Houghton, will answer your questions. Uh, Today's question, uh, rather questions, come from Johan, and he writes, 10 questions for you from a fan. Quick, rapid fire, don't think. So to honor that, I will ask each question and give my answers as, uh, as rapidly as I can. Number one, what is your favorite band? The Cure. Um, you know, a little competition from the Smiths or Susie and the Banshees uh, or bands like, um, you know, Crystal Castles or, or other bands I've discovered recently. But man, Heart of Hearts, Disintegration, best album ever. Uh, number two, who is your favorite living author? Uh, Neil Gaiman, hands down. Uh, Number three, who is your favorite not living author? I just love the way that was phrased. Uh, Easy answer there too as well, Philip K. Dick, uh, who was actually local here to San Rafael. So, you know, I moved here without even knowing that and that was pretty neat. Uh, Number four, what is your favorite movie? The Piano. Uh, Watched it in high school, fell in love with it. Still love it. Think it's the best film ever made, ever go Jane Campion. Number five, what did you eat for dinner last night? I ate a homemade vegan pot pie. It was frozen. I had made a big batch about a month ago, but uh, it was homemade to begin with. So I I think that still counts. Uh, And as I recall, uh, one and a half glasses of a very thick Merlot. All right, number six. What did you do for prom? Okay, I did not go to prom. So what I did for not prom was that uh, I bought about $40 worth of dessert items. So this could be like ice cream and cookies and cake. And I remember there was a, some kind of big container of chocolate mousse. I'm really not sure how that came to be. Um, and then I also bought about $40 in illicit alcohol and uh, locked myself down in my parents' basement and watched Clockwork Orange over and over and over again all night um, while drinking alcohol and eating mass quantities of sugar. So that was my problem. Uh, Not something I wish to repeat. Uh, However, at the time, it seemed like a good idea. Number seven, who is your biggest inspiration? Uh, My maternal grandmother who passed away last year uh, continues to be my biggest inspiration. Uh, She faced a lot of obstacles in life and a lot of difficulties in her private life but always made sure that in her interactions with other people, either her family, her friends, people um, through organizations that she was a member of, that she was always making their lives better, happier, that she was helping them feel more empowered, stronger, uh, and making them feel special and making them feel loved. And uh, that's something that I aspire to do, but I, I can never do it as well as she did. Um, but but that selflessness and the kindness that she showed other people continues to be an inspiration to me. Uh, number eight, what is your favorite store? Uh, there's a store called Stop Staring Online. Uh, they are, they're based out of Southern California as well with a, a physical shop. And that is where I buy most of my dresses. And I love them. I love them. I love them. Everything fits perfectly. Uh, the dresses are beautiful and uh, some cross between like 20s to 40s uh, couture and gothy, punky goodness. So I love their stuff. Uh, number nine, what's your favorite restaurant? That would be Millennium in San Francisco, which is a, a gourmet vegan place with great cocktails and even better food. And then lastly, uh, Johan's question number 10. Why do you like libraries so much? Uh, to me, Libraries are the cornerstone of any civilization. Uh, And I don't say that lightly, I actually believe that. Uh, We level the intellectual playing field, we democratize information and expertise so that anyone can learn anything, anytime for free and we will help them. And as I often say, when I speak to groups of library professionals, you know, that is the most noble goal that I can think of. And that tells me that I'm in the right profession. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy with what I do every day. So thank you, Johan, for your 10 questions. I hope you guys learned something about me, and uh, we'll see you next time for episode five of What Sarah Said. Thanks for tuning in to episode four.